my New Year's resolution 2013 is to be as uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> Reason for this is perhaps best understood within Toastmasters. Comfort zones are not our friends. <laughs> Mr. Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters, I grew up as a person who severely stuttered. Imagine being a child in a world of elegant jugglers, not even being able to do a simple task. No one understanding why. Graduated high school, went off to college, barely able to say my name or anything else for that matter. Turns out this is no minor issue. Bless God for an amazing journey. I've learned that no matter what our situation, we have choices not to be the victim of circumstance. I used to have a list of all the things a person who stutters can't do, can't be taken seriously, can't be confident, can't be a leader, can't do, can't be who I want to be. In 2008, I met a group called the National Stuttering Association. Yeah, that's right, it's the other NSA. <laughs> Composed of thousands of people from all around the country, all walks of life, all with one thing in common. They stuttered. They took my list of cans, shredded it, cross cut it, burned the clipping. This was one of those aha moments. The seas didn't part, the heavens didn't open up, the light didn't shine down. Because great challenges are overcome, difficult journeys are made, not in leaps and bounds, but by consistently putting one foot in front of the other, in the right direction. Extraordinary number of times. <coughs> there is much in our society that teaches us we should be safe and comfortable. Oh, it's wonderful to have a safe place to call home. If we stay there for too long, we grow chains and we lose our wings. None of my great stories begin with, I was comfortable and in a safe place. <laughs> they begin with, I was scared and unsure. James Hollingsworth tells us, courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the judgment that something else is more important. It's my privilege this morning to speak to a room full of successful people. But don't be satisfied where you are today, because success builds on success. Continue to grow. Be scared regularly. The way we wear our flags, we run towards the battle. We run into the fire. We step up, step out, and step forward. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi, I challenge you as I challenge myself. Take that farther and do the change you wish to see in the world. 
Do the change you wish to see in yourself. Because we are changed by what we do, not by what we think about or by what we plan to do, but by what we actually do. I was a kid who went off to college struggling so greatly to speak that if I had to order food at a drive through to stay alive, I'd have starved to death. <laughs> Today I'm on stage at a speech contest, part of three Toastmasters clubs, and I lead a chapter of the National Stuttering Association in Raleigh for kids who stutter. Take the next step wherever you are, right now. Propose the project, plan the mission, know where you are your challenge lies, and let the fire in your belly move your feet. I want to show you something. Learn how to juggle. Then learn how to juggle knives. <laughs> then learn how to juggle fire. Step up. Step out, step into the fire, Mr. Contest Master.